That seed of God's word will germinate. And it will bear fruit. And that will be my joy. I'll go home when I'm satisfied. That God's word has fallen on the right soil. And the word we bring to you is a sure word. It creates impact and results. For those who receive it very well. They, they are seeing the impact and the, the working of this word in their lives. From last Sunday, I've been receiving various testimonies from people as a result of the word God gave us on Sunday. People who are at the edge and, and they were seeing no way up. But when the word of God came and received it, miracles are already happening for them. Because they receive it with a heart that is prepared. A heart that is ready. Glory be to Jesus. So we are going to pray again for some few minutes. And praying for one another. And praying God to revive our hearts. Somebody, you need a revival in your heart. You need the fire of God to burn in your heart. You need the zeal for God to come back in your heart. It doesn't matter which kind of environment you're coming from. Or what has stolen the presence of God from your heart. You are in the right place where God is going to rekindle the fire again. In your the, heart. The, the first love for God is going to come back in your heart. So join your neighbor's hand. Make sure you have a neighbor you're going to pray. For. And pray for yourself then pray for that neighbor for the spirit of God to come back in that person's life for the fire of God to catch in that person's heart again for the love of God to come back in that person's heart the hunger for God's presence to come back in that person's heart lift your voices and begin to pray I, I want you to pray fervently. Pray with all your heart. Pray until something begins to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The prayer you're praying for that person. You don't know you're picking that person out of a valley. You don't know you're ending a wilderness in that person's life. You have no, you have no idea what that person is going through. You have no ideas, the battles the person is going through. But somebody lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let every dryness disappear. Let every coldness disappear. Let every heaviness disappear. Let every lukewarmness get out of the person. Let every kind of situation that has Stop the person from breaking through disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray with a burden on your heart. Pray, pray, pray as if you're praying for yourself. Whatever has blocked God's presence to to touch that person. Let it be removed. Whatever came in and blocked the channel of God's flow in the person's life. 
Let it be removed. If it is a fear, let it be removed. If it is a self condemnation, let it be removed. If it is a part of the person is going through, let it be removed. If it is a spirit of discouragement, let it be removed. In the name of Jesus, child of God, pray with you all. In the name of Jesus, let me see some fervency. Let me see some seriousness. In prayer, God wants us to pray. Prayer is a powerful weapon. Prayer is a key to open doors. Prayer brings breakthrough in your life. Prayer releases God's power upon you. Prayer defeats the powers of the enemy. Lord God, hear our prayers right now. We come as a church to lift our voices. We come as a church to call upon you. Lord, there are some who are weak in our midst. I ask you to lift them right now. It's my prayer, King of Glory. That every man and woman will be caught up in the spirit of revelation. Everyone will be caught up in the spirit of revival. Let nobody be left behind. Lord, destroy every religious spirit. Every lukewarmness. Every discouragement. Take away every prayerlessness. Take away every lukewarmness. Take away every carnality. Every worldliness, whatever distracts your children from the presence of the living God, remove it out of the and chaff that hinders the speed of God. Remove it out of your people and the wandering thoughts, my God, that holds people's minds from being distracted from your presence. Remove it out, Jesus. Bring a new fire in our hearts. The hunger for your presence. The thirst for your presence. Feel your people, Holy Spirit. Feel your people, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, those who are weak in prayer, lift them up again. Those who are weak in their faith, lift them up again. Those who are about to give up salvation, revive them again. Those who are seeing no way out, I pray you make a way for them. In the name of Jesus, intervene in everyone's matters. Fight all their battles. Open their doors. Do something new today. We cry out to you, God, because you are real. And your promises are yes and amen. But some people are not seeing you in their lives because of various reasons. Lord God Almighty, today I ask you to appear, intervene, touch your people, set our hearts on fire, revive us again, lift us again, strengthen us again, put your love in us again. Put a new seal in us again. We are hungry for your presence. We are thirsty for your spirit. Spirit of the living God. Let you appear in the upper room. Appear again today. In our lives. In the name of Jesus. Let every chains be broken. Let every weariness be broken. Let every walls be broken. Let every barriers be broken. We shut up every lies of Satan. We cancel every negative word. We destroy those devil, devilish thoughts. We shut them out in Jesus' name. We refuse whatever the devil is saying. Because we believe the report of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare a new beginning. In the life of every man. And every woman. 
woman I declare a new fire I release a baptism of the Holy Spirit a new move of God in the life of every person in the name of Jesus Christ Spirit of the living God stir up a new fire stir up a new beginning stir up a new move in our lives in our ministries bring us back to your presence bring us back to the first love bring us back to your word bring us back to your truth restore that zeal afresh restore that fire afresh restore that tongue afresh we declare a move of your presence, a move of your spirit, a move of your Somebody, somebody go deeper, go deeper, go deeper, go deeper, go deeper, go deeper, go deeper. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Something is happening in your life. There is a level you are entering into. There is a place you are touching in the spirit. The fire of God is beginning in your life. The grace of prayer is coming upon you. There is a new anointing falling upon you. Even you, you are feeling it in your spirit. You are beginning to sense that what you are praying is having meaning. It is beginning to come sweeter. You're beginning to enjoy what you're praying. That means you're crossing to another level. That means there is a breakthrough coming upon you. When you break through in the spirit, even in the natural, you break through. When you win in the spirit, even in the natural, there are things you're winning. The flesh is losing power. 
inner man. Over your life. Every heaviness is disappearing. Every weariness is disappearing. You're sensing something new in your spirit. Just push it a little more. Push more. Go a little deeper. Something is about to happen. There's a breakthrough coming in your spirit. There's a revival starting in your spirit. There's a new fire starting in your spirit. There's a grace of prayer coming upon you. Push a little deeper. Push a little deeper. Push a little deeper. There are mountains you're overcoming. There are deserts you're crossing. In the name of Jesus, take authority and break every limitation. And break those chains and weights that the devil put upon your life. Cancel those lies and voices of Satan in your ears. In the name of Jesus Christ, you can now overcome. You can now speak with boldness. You can now subdue some powers that were weakening you. You can now destroy those forces of darkness that were pulling you back. In the name of Jesus, because a new anointing has come upon you to strengthen you to lift you you can now see yourself as a victorious person push a little deeper push a little deeper push a little deeper Ricotolo Macula Mandele Bahashi Catalaba Rasata Brahashi Telebrahasante Rihasha Catarata City Titi Robo Popo Rica City Nibu Rede Corupo Shita La Brahashi Tiribu Ricalia Panama Santo Maradi Zepanaba Rakasa Tolo Macula Macari Basha Telebo Ricitili Macula Mandele Sita La Macoli Macatalaba Rakata this is a brain church. This is a brain church. And Jesus said, My house shall be called a house of prayer. For all nations, my house shall be called a house of prayer. For all nations, if we want to see revival, we cannot see it without prayer. Prayer precedes revival. Prayer precedes revival. Jesus said, Men ought to pray. And they faint not. Somebody raise up the banner of prayer. Lift up the standard of prayer. You are a product of prayer. You overcome by prayer. Prayer is a key that unlocks the supernatural. Prayer is a key that unlocks the glory of God in your life. Prayer is a key that unlocks the purpose of God over your life. Prayer is a key that unlocks miracles in your life. Prayer is a key that unlocks angelic presence around your life. I see some of you as you are praying, 
power. You are defeating the power of witchcraft that came to defeat you. As you are praying, you are counseling plans of Satan that were rising against you. As you are praying, there are doors opening for you. As you are praying, the angels are active now over your life. As you are praying, you are being healed from some infirmities. Somebody go deeper. Go deeper, go deeper. In the name of Jesus, pray while you still have life. Pray while you still have breath. Pray while you still have strength. In the name of Jesus, by your prayer, you can come out of certain situations by your prayers you can release a new season over your life I see men of you you are releasing blessings that were far away from you as you are praying something is happening something is happening something is moving something is changing the heavens are opening over your life your dreams are coming true. The promises of God are being substantiated and materialized in your life. As you pray, your walls breaking. Jabez prayed to God. Jabez asked God. He prayed to God that you remember me and enlarge my territory and take away things that bring pain in my life. When he called upon the God of Israel and he prayed with all his heart, the Lord heard his prayer. Today, somebody God is hearing your prayers. Some sisters behind there, you're praying very well, you're doing very well. Keep it up, 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 keep it up. Something is about to explode over your life, something is about to pass over your life, you're about to enter. Certain realm of the supernatural, you are about to see some visions of the spirit, you are about to receive some revelations that will change your life. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. Ministers pray there is a new level that you are tapping into, there is a new anointing that you are tapping into. God has given us prayer as a key into the supernatural as a key into revelation my God, my Father we don't want to be the same we don't want to be stagnant we don't want to be stuck in the past glory we don't want to be stuck in the past revelations we don't want to be stuck into yesterday's word we don't to want to be stuck in failures, we push forward, we rise up. As you pray, you're releasing gifts of the spirit. As you pray, you're releasing your ministry. As you pray, 
there are things that you're opening up in the spirit of your life. Don't get tired, don't go tired. You are not alone. We are backing you up. We are backing you up. Don't go tired. Don't grow weary. You are not alone. There is a corporate grace. There is a corporate anointing that is empowering you. That is empowering you. Don't grow weary. Just release yourself. The Bible says, likewise, the Spirit Himself helps us to pray. Even though we don't know how to pray, but it helps us in our weaknesses. He grows through us with words that cannot be uttered. Let the Spirit of God pray through you. Let Him grow through you. Let Him pray through you. Just avail yourself and connect to this grace. Push, 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 Rikiti, <laughs> 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 
well. That's how we win. That's how we overcome. That's how we enter into new places. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's how. That's how we release new anointings upon our lives. Go on. Go on. Yes, Pastor Daniel. Pastor Daniel. That's how we release revival. That's how we release our ministries. That's how we release the gifts of the spirit. That's how we release supernatural things. Go deeper. Go deeper. Go deeper. Go deeper. Go deeper. Go deeper. In the name of Jesus. 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 Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yes, Joan. That's how we win. That's how we win. You're doing well. You're doing well. Go on, go on. There is something that is about to be released in your life. Keep it up. Keep it up. Push more. Push more. Push more. You are about to cross over. You are about to cross over. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. 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 Of the Spirit is coming upon us. It's coming upon you. It's coming upon this church. In the name of Jesus. There are some times we have to forget about food and pray. There are some times you forget about your beauty and pray. There are some times you forget about your degrees and pray. There are some times you forget about your problems and pray. There are some times you forget about your titles and pray. Pray. There are some times you forget about the sickness and pray. There are some times you forget about your titles and you pray. You forget, but pray. Children come and we pray together here. You also need this fire. Come in front here. Let's pray together. Let's pray together. Let's pray together. We don't want to leave you behind. This grace is for you. You are the next generation that God wants to live, that God wants to raise. Join your hands in a circle here. And let us pray together. Let's pray together. This church is yours. The kingdom is yours. Revival is yours. Children, let's pray together. Just begin to pray. The Spirit of God will come upon you as you pray. Just pray, just pray, just pray, children. Pray, 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 pray the way you can. 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 Ask Jesus. Ask Jesus to fill you with the Holy Spirit. Ask Jesus to fill you with the anointing and with the power at your age. Jesus was in the temple. He was preaching at 12 years. He was already preaching. He was full of the Holy Spirit. Pray for yourselves. Pray for yourselves. Rasata la bahashite, rasata la bahashite, rasata la makata. Reke teke teke te, reke teke teke te, reke teke teke te, reke teke teke te. Ora paripara pa, ora paripara desi, ora paripara toto, 
There are times we have to forget about programs and pray. There are some times we should give up preaching, but pray. There are some times we should put aside everything and pray. Oh, yes, sir. Ula kotuluma, ula kotuluma ni reke zeti, ula kazi zeti, reke seketi, reke likata, rakata kata, makata kata, rakata kata, rakata kata, rakata kata, reke teke te, reke teke te, reke seketi, ula para papa, reto poko to, reke teke te, reke teke te, reke sekata kwa, ula kasa kata, yende kesi kata, lombo braha seketi. Rikaria kata, rasa taka pa, repo koto pu, repo koto pu pu, rikata kata, rakata kata, reke teke te, reke si kata, reke teke te, reke teke te, roko to koto ko, ura pa 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 pa, reke teke di kata, mantele ke si kata, rende ke rikasa, rapa kata pa, rapa koto pu, riko se ke teke, shanti di 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 di, rende di di bru, reke di baraba, reke di di buya, rende di Oh, shit, hey, we call it out of you. Oh, I can see it, take it. Oh, I don't want to call it up. Oh, I call it out of you. Oh, I can't see it. 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 Reke teke teke, ropo koli baka. Reke teke teke, reke teke teke. Oye de 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 de, re de 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 de, re de 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 de, ra de 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 de, ra je te de de de, ra tu lu 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 lu. Reke si ke teke, re koli paraba, re de li koto lu mu, re ke di ba ha she te de de. Revive us, revive us, revive us, revive our families, revive our city, revive our churches, revive our nation, revive the nations. Revive us, yes, Lord. Ya raha sante tete, raha tete 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 tete. Leke leke tete, luko tolo makolo lo, leko tolo bashe tete mu, makolo makolo lo prado she tete mu, leke tete tete prado she tete mu, leko tolo lo prado she tete mu, leke tete tete prado she tete mu, leke tete tete prado she tete mu, leke tete tete prado she tete mu. We are hungry, we are thirsty, we are hungry and thirsty for you and fasted for your spirit and fasted for revival and hungry for your spirit we are hungry yes so to go shit in the level we go to 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 the level we are in need of a new move we are hungry for a new dimension we are hungry for a new move of your spirit we are hungry we are thirsty my god my father we call upon you in these days in our days do it again do it again do it again. The miracles that we read about, do them again in our days. The move of the Spirit that we read about, do them again in our days. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the supernatural that we read in the Bible, do them again in our days. Jesus. Rikiti di di ba di ba, rikiti di 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 di, rikiti di 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 di, rikiti di 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 di, rikoto lulu lulu, maraji ti ti, rakoto koto, rakata kata, rakata kata, rakata kata, rikiti kiti, rikisi kiti, rikoto pu pu pu, ura pa 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 pa, rapu pu 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 pu, rikiti ti 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 ti, rikiti ti 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 ti, rikisi ti 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 ti, rikiti kiti kiti, rikisi kiti kiti, rikisi kiti kiti. 
We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Oh, no production. Yes, Lord. Need to manya. Go to
praise. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the outpouring of your grace. Oh, pray upon us. Lord, what you have started. I pray that you will perfect it. We don't want to lose the fire again. What you have triggered in us today. Let it increase. Let it grow. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody shout a big amen? You can shout louder than that. Glory to God. Amen. Before you sit, let's gather nearer. The ushers, you're so crowded in one place. I want two ushers to remain at the back. The rest of you come forward. Then you can take your seats. God bless you. Thank you, children. Thank you for praying. God bless you. This is how we overcome. This is how we win. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Uh, we're going to continue in the word the word of God but before that I want to call us to a prayer marathon that we are going to have on Saturday and the whole of this week we are in prayer and fasting starting with tomorrow we are giving ourselves to seeking God because the Bible says this is the generation that seeks after God and God gave us instructions that for the whole of this year every last week of the month we, we, we dedicated to seek God in prayer and fasting and so this uh, tomorrow is going to be week uh, number 9 so join us together every Evening, we shall be gathering here from 6 to 7. And then Friday, we will come from, from 6 to 10. Meaning we will not have the miracle night on Friday. Then Saturday, we are coming back here at 2 p.m. to have a non-stop prayer for four solid hours. No one is going to stand here to, to lead you or give you a prayer direction. No choir is going to come here and say we are having a break. Let's first sing a song. No preacher is going to come here and first stop us and say I have a word. Let's first hear it. Then we continue. No. From 2 p.m to 6 p.m. non-stop prayer. I invite all of you. It's going to be great. And your life will be ushered into a new level. Are you happy for that? So give praise to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Last week God gave us a message. 
prophetic word the Lord said he's going to provide and we have been seeing how to tap into the provisions it's one thing for God to give us a promise but it's another thing to see that promise come to pass and but when the word of God comes, it's a sure deal that he's going to perform it. His word comes before his performance. He sends his word and then he performs his word. And the word comes to prepare us for what God is about to do. Because there are so many things that can distract our attention. But God will first give us his word to draw our attention. And his word which comes by revelation is his will. And it's a sure deal that he's going to perform that word. He also said that the word he sends will not go back void to him. He has a purpose why he sends it. So after the word has fulfilled its purpose, then the word can go back to him with testimonies that what you sent me for I have fulfilled it in your children. So when the word comes we now have to work on our faith to believe it. Because between the word of God and you there are lots of resistances. Lots of questions. Lots of doubts. Lots of forces. That are fighting that word from happening. So you got to work on your faith. And your mind. To make sure you believe that word and know that it is God who has spoken. And once you believe it, you will see the glory of God. Jesus told Mary and Martha after resurrecting Lazarus, he said, didn't I tell you that if you believed you would see the glory of God? But that time it was not yet easy for them to believe. Seeing that their brother Lazarus was dead and he had been in the tomb for four days. Then Jesus comes in the scene and tells them I'm the resurrection and the life your brother Lazarus will rise again. That time it was not easy for them to believe it. But when they believed it, they saw the resurrection. So God has spoken to us in the midst of lack in the midst of financial scarcity in the midst of so many challenges debt challenges losses scarcity insufficiency he has come to tell us I'm going to provide now it becomes a bit challenging for you to believe that word. Looking at the current situation. But the word of God is alive. When it lands in a situation like that of a wilderness, the word of God has 
a creative power within itself. To create what was not there to be there. To cause a season change. That you begin to see new things happening. Hallelujah. So when the word of God came to us last time, that the Lord will provide, it found so many people who are living in, in the struggle somewhere wondering how to pay fees and many, many things. Including myself who gave the word. I was at a certain age. Amen. Amen. And I was wondering how I was going to sort out certain things. And the word came so heavily. The Lord will provide. Actually last Sunday before I delivered to you the message. God first spoke it to me. Then he instructed me to go and bring it to you. On Sunday when I was delivering to you the message, I was also looking for how things were going to happen on Monday. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I was at the edge and I didn't trust God for his word. But I can assure you. That by Monday. God had sorted me out. In a miraculous way that I did not expect. And I told you here. That spend more time to build your faith than to run left and right trying to sort how things are going to happen. People who spend more time building their faith in God take a short time to break through. But those who are trying to figure out things by themselves take long to break through. But even when they break through but because they have used the human means to figure out their success. That success comes with a lot of price. Perhaps they can succeed. But they will end up into so many traps. They have the success. But they have spent too much. They have the success. But they have ended up into debts. They have the success. But they are so much heartbroken. Because they are trying to figure out things by their own human minds. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 says Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. He says in all your ways. Acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. He will direct your path. Path. In other words, he will give you a solution. And when God gives you a solution, he gives you a solution without demanding back for you to pay. But if you trust in man, you will lose a lot. You lose your reputation. You lose your time. 
time, people are going to know you as a beggar and people will get tired of you. If you trust in man, you will be frustrated because, let me tell you, people cannot solve your problems. Amen. Amen. Your needs are so massive. Your budget is so massive. Now if you keep moving from door to door. Asking for help. From this and the other and the other. You will be worn out. You will be frustrated. Because out of the ten people that you're looking for help, maybe one or two will help you. But even if they help you, one of the things that I don't like in life is when you have helped me and you start announcing it. I will gather all the things you've given me and put it back at your door. Hmm. Did you hear that? I'll ask you to write the budget for all the help you have helped me. And I'll push it back to you. Can I hear me? That's how human beings are. They will help you, but they will announce you. And you also not enjoy the things that. One time I heard a certain man borrowed a suit for a wedding party and he went for a wedding party and the owner of the suit was there. Then this man sat under the sun and he sent somebody as an usher to tell the... <laughs> and then the usher came and said, the owner of the suit says, the suit does not like sun. So go under the shed. Naulira kobambi munange waluwa musajja Yagenda kumukolo na yenga suti bambi jayamba de ya jewo la waya jaya zika. Akati wajja kumukolo. Nori ya jimwa yaliyo kumukolo. Kati musajja watu bambi abatu dekomu musana. Kati ngatuma asha nga gamboli kwe bawa de suti. Nga mugamba gendo gamboli. Ntinze nanyini suti mugami enti ye suti jenamu wa dete yeta gamusana guvemu. Ah. And now you feel deflated. Oh, the younger Gaku went then. No, they Gaku. I'm sorry, maybe some of you you are borrowed what you're wearing. Munsas Robolia, Nama Baliwan, Abimuku, Mamba Devu, Mabi as the Senabe, Nababi as the Sebaliwan. Maybe the owner is behind you. Robolia, Nabia, Yabiquazi, Sadi, Mabi. Maybe that's why some of you don't want to dance freely in God's presence because. You may hey, break the shoe you borrow. Or the hair piece you borrowed will fall off. May God give you your own. May God bless you with what is yours. When God gives you, He doesn't demand a pay. And he doesn't announce you everywhere. People will announce you. But God, one day, there's a certain, <laughs> a certain man who told me that they, they raised money for the pastor's car. And he said to me, you see we are the one who raised money. And, and he told me, you see, when we bought the car for him, we even put fuel full tank. I sympathized with that man of God. Sorry. He didn't know he was enjoying the car, but here they were talking that they, they Te, bought the car for him. He said, I don't know if the car is going to be able to get the car. And that news came to me. 
At a season when they were collecting money for my cows. I said, ah. I terminated that project. Otherwise, I'd be driving the car and the church would say, you see, that is our car. And you see such cars which are raised like that. When there is a certain function in the church, maybe a certain brother is going to, to Kwanjula, they come and say, Pastor, can you lend us the car we raised for you? We are going to put fuel in it. Don't worry. I'll say you take it and don't bring it back. I told the church that time. Thank you for that project you're doing to raise money. But God will give me his order. And today the car is standing here. That I received without a cost and without a price and without a talking. Trust in the Lord. Some of you are quiet. You're looking at me with a sorrowful heart. Maybe you went and borrowed things and now you are under trap. May God deliver you and may God rescue you and may God give you what is yours. Shout a big amen for that. And God is going to provide. And he'll give you what is worth your level. And he'll give you what is going to raise your standard. Because when God provides, he provides the best. So get ready for the harvest time and for the season we are entering to enjoy supernatural provisions. I declared from this month up to December, you will enjoy supernatural provisions. Admin is not here. She would have given you a testimony, but she said, after that word, she received a certain miracle that even a prisoner, a prisoner gave her money. Now that is getting water out of a rock. Kakati, when I... God speaks, even the earth can produce money for you. I... When God speaks, you can pick money from the leaves. Are you listening to me? God will cause certain circumstances to happen for the word to be fulfilled. Something Something is about to happen in your life that will shock you because the word of God has come to you. God will provide. Can you shout with me and say, God will provide? Say it louder, God will provide. When Abraham went to, to sacrifice the son, the son asked, where is the sacrifice? Because indeed they were going without a sacrifice. But Isaac, in reality, was supposed to be the sacrifice. According to the instruction that God gave to Abraham. In Genesis 22. 
But Abraham did not tell the son that you are the sacrifice. But the, the Bible says that within Abraham, he knew that at a certain point, even if he killed Isaac, he would resist. God would resurrect Isaac back. He had that faith. And he had the faith that somewhere, somehow, God will provide a sacrifice. When Isaac asked the father, the wood is here. The fire is here. But where is the sacrifice? Abraham said, my son, God will provide. He spoke it in faith. Up to the last moment when he put his son on the altar, Abraham was still expecting the provisions. He was still believing that something is going to happen in between. He lifted his hand with a knife. He was going to stab the son. It's that moment when God appeared. And said, Abraham, 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 don't Ibrahim. lay your hand on the lad. Because I know now you fear God. Because you've not well withheld your hand from killing your son. God told him now, lift your eyes and see. Behind you, there is a ram caught up in the bushes. I've provided the sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. And Abraham named that mountain Jehovah Jireh up to today. He said, and upon the mount of the Lord, it shall be mentioned, the Lord shall provide. I declare to seven people here, you will present your testimony in your hands and declare the Lord has provided. Even at the last moment, God will appear. Amen. Amen. So take time to build your faith. I love my wife because she encourages me. Why she seeing the fruit of my faith? She seeing the result of my faith. And she keeps telling me every day, I'm tapping into that faith. I also want to walk in that faith. And things are working for her. Hallelujah. Amina. Things are working for her. You know her and I have chosen to serve God fully. We don't work elsewhere. We don't earn salaries anywhere. We have developed our faith in God. We built our faith and trust in God and, and Him alone. And it's not easy to walk a life of trusting God and depending on God solely. Are you hearing? Sometimes you're there. You don't know where to start from. You can't even figure out. And, and you don't even know who you're going to ask. Hallelujah. But 
in the midst of all those questions, Jehovah Jireh appears. Katondo Mugabirizi. Alabikako. Nayabula. Sikulabikako. He really appears. Alabikako. Oba Aja. Alabika. Oba Alabika. Hallelujah. Amen. He does what? Alabika. He appears. Alabika. And he solves problems. He levels mountains. Even does more than what we expected. Even exceedingly. Even abundantly. And then you say, wow. I want to trust him more. And once he has solved our problems, he does not demand us back. But let people help you. They will say, when are you paying back? And fail to pay on the debt then you see. You become a talk. Ah, may the Lord receive this faith in your spirit. Glory to God Amen. That, that you stand firm even in the midst of luck because there is a thin line for you to lower your faith and then you get back in the flesh and you start Calling people, announcing your problem. You know what? I am dying. I have only one loaf of bread. With my son, we eat and die. You start announcing that. that when you start doing that, then you are like canceling God out of the equation. Listen to this. When you trust God, He will touch people to bring to you what you want. And it's so sweet. And so beautiful. When somebody comes to you and say, you know what? I had a sleepless night. Because God was instructing me to do this for you. And I pray for you that God will command some people and touch their hearts to do something that you never expected. Let somebody say amen. And may God also touch your heart to do something for someone. Because I know all of you love to be on the consuming side. Lift your hand and say, God, use me to be a blessing to somebody. Yes. That's when the gospel is sweeter now. Africa has raised more consumers than producers. Africa. Give me. Give me. Give me. All the Mba. governments are looking at all those developed countries. Give me. Our mouth are always open like this. Ah. Government is on Africa. We never to know the mpa mpa mpa. Imagine that you are doing this day by day. Have you seen these chicks of of birds? Mwari mola biye kubu tamata mabu no wobu nyonyi. When the mother comes with the with the sitting on you. Their mouth are like this. So most Africans are like that. When they see a muzungu, oh. Hmm. Even here when people come to church, bless me, bless me, bless me. Where is my prophecy? Where is Please pray for me, pray for me. Consumers. May God 
turn you to be also a giver. May God turn you to be a lender. May God turn you to be a producer. May God turn you to be a giver. Our service today in the evening is going to be different. People have booked one another here to give them gifts. And I've seen some who have already carried their gifts right now. They have them themselves. I can't wait for the evening. It's going to be one of the most exciting services in the history of this church. Gifts are going to be flying left and right in this service from one person to another. But I also know out of the people, some are just coming as consumers. And and they'll come with a sympathetic face to attract. You will wait in vain. You will see gifts by passing you to others. It happened to me one day. In a certain service, people were giving gifts to others. And I knew that people love me and they favor me because I'm a good boy. And I used to play the keyboard for the people. And I knew that in the service, I'm not going to miss anything. And that day, I never carried anything. And I knew people were going to give me. I came in like a consumer. When the time of giving came, those whom I thought loved me, they were bypassing me. Bypassing me. And going to other people. I said, but I thought they loved me. Yaya Nonze, she's saying that God had not yet chosen me. I was very chosen. She's a gaman to Mamma Marita Nabakumurunda Catondaria Murunda. So, in the midst of what was happening, Wakati Musonge Zonga Zikenda Man, somebody sympathized with me, Omuntu Yansa Sidaba, and gave me a guava fruit. Yampe Pera, a Pera. I went home after the service. I said, God, what is this? God, that's the day God taught me a lesson to give, to be a sower. He said, You only reap what you sow. Hallelujah. Amen. I was saying the other day that most in most churches, most intercessors have nothing. Or are poor or broke. Why? Because they think by the fact that they pray more for people. They are exempted from giving. Just because they are over praying for people, they are the ones interceding. God bless so and so. God, I stand in the gap on behalf of brother so. I stand in the big gap on behalf of sister so. And so. Oh, my father. Oh, my father. Abasinga baloza kubanga bobe ega irizi basabira abalala bayimira okulwa abalala abawereza kanisa bichibo nabona bobaloza tibatekedwa kuwayo 
So when the time of giving comes, let them go and give. After all, I have already interceded for them. Let me tell you, you will reap back prayer. They will pray for you to bring a decision. You will still remain broke. So in addition to your prayer and intercession give when we were wedding my wife and I was wedding 19 years ago. December, we are making 20 years. Can we clap your hands to Jesus? So there were some sisters. They came to him and said, Papa, for us on your wedding, we shall fast for you. Others were giving money. Crates of sodas, cakes. Wow. We shall fast for you. And when on that wedding day on the reception, Mama reception. didn't know them. They came, oh, he said, you see, we didn't even eat the lunch because we were fasting. We fasted for you. The only reward I gave them was God bless you. Echigambo chenaba wachoka na wagamanti mukama ba wumukesa. Bantu mo kusaba no kusiba. But those who gave, their names were mentioned. I thank so and so for giving me a cake. I thank so and so for giving me. But the other ones, their names were not even mentioned. Amanya gaba ba wa yo gaya tulua neba za gundi yampa de chino neba za gundi yampa de cake neba na basiba na amanya gawe te gawuri kikakana ko. Are you listening to me? Mumpulida. Prayer and intercession does not exempt you from giving. Let me balance the equation. Even those who are generous and are givers, you are not exempted from prayer. Because when you appear, you give big and solve a problem. Then you disappear. For weeks, months, you're in your own things. Let them pray. Let them go to the overnights. They are praying for us. Continue. Pray for us. And their spits are dry and empty. And life is defeating them. So we have to balance up. Giving and prayer go hand in hand. Acts chapter 10. The angel appeared to Cornelius and said, your giving and your prayers have appeared before God as a memorial. Somebody say amen. May God remember you because of your prayer and your giving. And, and, and improve on your prayers as you're improving on your giving. Glory to God. All these are important for you. Giving and praying. Even ministers who are serving. Don't say because you serve a lot. You should be exempted from giving. You need to build your own giving life because it will release a harvest for you. These are principles I'm giving that can help you to tap into the supply of God. 
Zino nono zemba wa eziba letira okulega kubugabilizi wa katonda. Because God has promised he's going to provide. Kubanga katonda ya tusubi zanti agenda tugabilida. So how do we tap into the provision? Katulega kutia kubugabilizi. How do we tap into the supply? Tufuna tutio bugabilizi. I've talked about having faith in God. Mbagambia kubano kukiliza mkatonda. I've talked about living a prayerful life. Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. So if you want to tap into the provisions of God, learn to ask. Learn to pray. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, ask and you shall receive. He continued to say that up to now you have not yet asked. Jesus was telling the disciples He said till now you have not asked He said you don't have because you don't ask So asking God or prayer will connect you to God's provision To God supplies Somebody say amen We also talked about another principle Called generosity If you want to tap into God's provision and supply Be generous Be generous that's why in the evening today we are coming back to, to share whatever we have with one another. Because they really want to emphasize on this point of generosity. First look at your neighbor and say neighbor. Be generous. Be generous. Proverbs 28 verse 27 says he who gives to the poor will not lack but he who hides his eyes will have many curses. When you become stingy it brings a curse on your life. But when you become generous to the poor and you give, the Bible says, you will not lack. Proverbs 11, verse 25. It says, the generous soul will be made rich. And he who waters will also be watered. Are you hearing that? A generous soul will be made rich. And he who waters will also be watered. Wealth does not come from sweating too much and struggling too much. It comes from being generous. Start sharing the little that you have. It will bring riches on your life. Glory be to Jesus. And if you water others, if you refresh others, you'll also be refreshed. You see, there is a God in heaven who watches how you behave. He watches how you're being generous or how you're being stingy. And every time you give, he records. There are some of you here who will never be in your life. Because there are some acts of generosity that you did or which you are doing that heaven will never forget you about. And look, look here. Givers and generous people 
There is a certain sign on your life. You, you cannot hide away from a certain glory that appears on you. The same thing happens to the stingy people. I can tell who is a stingy person here and I can tell who is a generous person here. By the way, you appear. Even if you cover it with a suit, there is a certain appearance which is strange that will be on you. Even if you cover it with a makeup, and you want to appear to look like Celine Dion, that stinginess will still manifest. Generosity. He who waters others will also be watered. He who refreshes others will also be refreshed. One of the signs of stingy people, they don't have joy. They are always angry. Why? Why? They have jealousy when they are seeing others are looking good. Baba ba ino budja, we bala baba langa bala bi kabulunjo kubasiinga. Are you hearing that? Mumpuli That's one of the signs. Ye mukubonero. Another sign. A kaboni na kalala is that they are always pitiful. But say that baba be sasira. Looking for who can sympathize with. Bano nyoya na wasasira na vo. Today, I order you come out of stinginess. Some people suckled stinginess from their mother's breast. You see, from childhood, a girl of two years and all nine months. You ask her for something. You push it behind you. Who taught her? Hallelujah. Hmm. I have a certain little friend here in this church. She's called Zabu. When you give her something, she says, Thank you. Then she'll also give back to you. She's generous. And she enjoys when you're saying thank you. Because she also wants. To say thank you when you give her back. But some babies. I'm not going to mention them. <laughs> I don't know where they got that stinginess from. Praise the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and say, Father, deliver me from the spirit of stinginess. Amen. Have you ever seen some families where when they slaughter chicken, they bury the feathers? They don't want the neighborhood to see the sign that there is good food. They even tell the children, please, today pray around here. Don't attract other children. 
Mwange, mwinzo kusikiriza abana bala nebaja. <laughs> Mzanyire wanoku mpimpi we mbala vila. Ah, amina. You see, if you employ such a stingy person in an organization, even releasing a toilet paper for the staff will be hard. Toilet paper, or kujija yo kujiwa staff munage ndaji koze se. Buba buzibu musango kwe njini guaba ziza. Even releasing papers to use for the organization, the person will... Name popular zenyini ogendo kuzukuba kevi into ebigasa company awuli nanga awali nye wachi. Even when they get married, never fumbi they deprive their spouses. Era ba mi wabi baba baba mubu zibu baba 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 tet. Let me end it there. Chigambi chongachi nene nyo. Eh kare te baba wa nanga tet na gambachi. An injured in get ups. Hallelujah. Amina. Glory to God. Amina. Do you want to see God's provision in your life? Be generous. Better watch Sagaba. Second Corinthians. Bakolinse Chokubidi. Chapter nine, verse. Verse 5. Listen. Therefore, I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren to go to you ahead of time and prepare your generous gift beforehand, which you had previously promised, that it may be ready as a matter of generosity and not as a matter of a grudging obligation. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or out of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance to every good work. And as it's written, he has dispersed abroad, he has given to the poor. He, you see, Paul was, was writing to the Corinthians. There was a church in Macedonia. It was one of the poorest churches. But what made the Macedonian church outstanding? was their generosity. Out of their scarcity, they gathered gifts and they sent it to Paul to go with for his missionary work. And that's why they were written in the Bible here. If you read those first verses, Paul was referring to the Macedonian church. And he was referring, using them as a point of reference to teach the Corinthian church. I'm sure the Corinthian church had a spirit of stinginess. So he was using the Macedonian church as an example. To teach the Corinthians how to give. And he says he who gives sparingly will Na, also reap sparingly. But he who gives generously will also reap generously. Because God loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said God will make all grace abound to you that you will have sufficiency in all things. Things. In other words, when you step into the anointing of generosity, there's a grace of abundance.
abundance that you start living in. Supply begin to come into your life. Because generosity releases and unlocks the grace of supply. And you will lack nothing. Somebody say amen. Try this. You will see yourself living in abundance all the time. You will never lack. Provisions will always come in your life. God will touch people to remember you. Because you have provoked the grace of supply. By your being generous. Are you listening to this? If you want to walk in the abundance of grace of supply. Provoke God by being generous. And be generous in everything. Use whatever is within your means to be a blessing to somebody who is in need. Hallelujah. You have a certain ability. To change somebody's life, to make someone happy, to be a blessing to somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, my daughter Esther came to me. There is a certain family she wants to bless in this church. And she gave me the responsibility to look for the family. I will not look for a family that is stingy. We don't want that seed to fall on an infertile ground. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And she has promised very good things. Hallelujah. Those who are generous, the grace of harvest will come to you. The grace of receiving will come to you. The grace of provision will come to you. Heaven will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. The Bible says, by his divine power, God has given us all things that pertains to life and godliness. But how do you tap there? These are the principles I'm giving unto you. Clap your hands to the living God. Is somebody being blessed? I could have preached a powerful sermon and all of you are carrying chairs, but I want to teach you these principles. Hallelujah. I could have prophesied on you here and you then start shouting and jumping. But I want you to go home with a word, a principle that can help you. I pray for whoever has ever sown a seed and has ever been generous. May God water your seed and may God cause your seed to germinate and to bear fruit. And I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, a season of harvest is coming to you. Hallelujah. Amina. Let me pick maybe two more. Two more principles and then we, we, we pray. 
to serve you want, him. If you want to tap into the provisions of God. Last time I, I talked about walking in total obedience. I'm not going to explain so much about that. But the test of obedience is very important for you. Before God provides, he will first test you. He tested Abraham. When Abraham passed the test, then God said, now this land I'm going to give you. And for blessing, I'll bless you. For prosperity, I'll prosper you. And your children will possess the gates of their enemies. Now that promise came after Abraham passed the test. So God will test your heart he will test your obedience and my prayer is that you will be faithful to pass the test of obedience God can tell you to do something for him he can tell you to do something in this place he can tell you to do something maybe to your family members please walk in obedience that act of obedience will unlock supply and abundance in your life and I said last time that when God has spoken to you as an individual and given you a personal instruction don't bring that instruction in an association for a discussion don't bring it in a committee God has spoken to you. He has not spoken to the group. So why do you bring it in a committee? Say, you know what? Let's discuss. God has said, I do this. So, how do I do it? Who is the secretary? Who is the, 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 the treasurer? Who is the mobilizer? Because God has told me, by the time you bring it in a committee, everyone will have their opinions. Some are saying yes, others no. Last time I told you a committee made a horse to become a camel. Because some are saying yes, others no. Some yes, and others no. A good horse turned into a cab. God can tell you something good. Tell you to do something. When you bring it in a committee, you will tamper with it. They will even put fear in you and fail to do what God told you to do. When God spoke to Abraham to sacrifice the son, he never went back to Sarah. If he had gone to Sarah, <laughs> you know how you women behave. Sarah would have said, I'm divorcing you now. And that would be the end of Abraham, Abraham obeying God. Ananias and Sapphira died because of, of consultation. On what God had instructed them to do. God told them to sell everything and bring to the house of God. And when they went into a committee. They said, should we take or not? Should we take all or take some? They agreed and they put them in the minutes. Let's take some and keep some to ourselves. So they brought before the apostles. So we have brought everything. <laughs> Peter said, why are you lying against us? You agreed to keep some. And death entered them. 
Hallelujah. Amina. When God tells you to obey you as an individual, you must obey as an individual not as a group if he has told you as a group obey him as a group somebody say amen the test of obedience is not easy the test of sacrifice is not easy Hallelujah. Amina. When you begin to bring in your reasoning there, you may end up not giving. You may, not, you may end up not obeying God. The Lord called me to ministry. And a certain woman came to give me another alternative which was completely taking me out of the will of God. As if she was there the day God was speaking to me. Tell your neighbor, watch out another voice which is not God's voice. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to walk in God's provisions? Pass the test of obedience. Every test of obedience you pass, you become a friend of God. Say amen. Hallelujah. Another principle which is important. You have to acknowledge that God is your source. He is your supplier. Man is not your supplier. Man is a channel. Man cannot manufacture. He cannot initiate provision. And man has not enough to supply. And man is always on the needy side. So God is your source. That's why we call him Abba, Father. Yes. Abba means our source, our Father. He's our provider. Glory to God. Amen. So acknowledge him all the time in your life. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Another powerful principle. If you want to see God's provision. You must continue to do good. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 to 10 do not grow weary in doing good. Because in due season you will reap abundantly. Keep doing good. Even when things are hard even when life is difficult keep doing good don't grow weary in doing good hallelujah Amina. there are some people when it's hard time they give up they stop doing good I want you to constantly be a man and a woman who keeps doing good the commitments you made before the Lord keep doing them if you promise to serve God keep serving God even in scarcity serve God Amen. even if there are people who God instructed you to bless even if they have hurt you, continue to do good. In due time, you will harvest. You will be rewarded. Somebody say amen. Tell your neighbor, keep doing good. 
Even when people have hurt you on one side. Keep doing good. Some of you have vowed because some people hurt you. They paid you evil for good. You, you made a vow. You will never, ever, ever and even said over your dead body do good again to people. Please reverse your words. Keep doing good. Hallelujah. Amina. And God will reward you. Rise on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody, yes. Clap your hands and give praise to the Lord. Thank Him for His word. Thank Him for His instructions. Be doers of the word. Not only hears. Some of your healing will come by being generous some of your your husbands or wives will come when you change the way you do things when you begin to become generous some of you your prayer answers will begin to be released when you start applying these principles. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your hands and begin to thank the Lord. For his word that does come to you. And correct some things, some mistakes you've been making in life. And, and make some vows before the Lord. It's you who knows how you've been living. Whether it's been pleasant to God or not. You know those areas where you have failed God and failed yourself. You know those areas where he told you to do something and you disobeyed him. So amend your ways and, and make some promises before the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Take some few minutes to pray in the name of Jesus. There's a God who answers prayers. He's hearing your prayers. Yes, Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. For your word which has come forth. Lord God, I pray that we will change the way we do things. We will change the way we have been faithful. Heal us from every unfaithfulness. Heal us from every lack of generosity and every disobedience. Heal us, Lord, from trusting in man. Today we choose to please you. We choose to walk in your ways. Somebody lift your voice and continue to pray. Commit yourself to the Lord. Commit your ways unto him make some promises before the Lord tell him you're changing the way you're doing things tell him that you're going to be serious with him to walk in these principles Father, we thank you, Lord. As your people are making commitments, hear their prayers. And I ask you to unlock the heavens and provide for them. Because you have promised us and said you are the provider. Appear in every areas of lack. 
as a God who provides. As Jehovah Jireh. Some parents are here. They haven't got fees for their children. May you provide. Some are here. They need jobs. Provide. Some need healing. Provide. Some need money to settle their debts. Provide. You said you will provide all our needs. According to you, your riches in glory. Let your mighty hand be straight upon you. People. The hand of provision. Oh God Almighty, your word is true. You can never lie. You are preparing us for a great harvest. You are preparing us for a season of supply and provision. You, you came and you told us you shall supply and you will provide for us and you are teaching us these principles that we can be ready for the provision Father even for this ministry there are needs that this ministry has I ask you to provide even to the individuals there are things they need in their lives Lord provide let this word have effect. Let it come to pass in their lives. You are our source. You are our father. You are our supplier. We look up to you, Lord. We trust in you. In the name of Jesus. We bless you. And we magnify you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me pray for those who are not feeling well. Lift your hands where you are. And and touch that painful part and trust God for healing. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, stretch your healing hand upon your children by the stripes of Jesus. They are healed. I stand to rebuke the pain and the sickness. I cast it out of their bodies, out of their blood system. Let a miracle happen. Let the anointing destroy every yoke. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your pain go. Your sickness go. Your disease go. Your spirit of infirmity go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy your power from their lives. Restore good health upon them. Receive your healing now. Receive your miracle now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare no more pain. No more suffering. No more sickness in your body. In the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus. You are healed. Take your healing now. Thank you dear Lord. Clap your hands and thank him for the healing in Jesus name. Thank you Lord. Any person who wants to be born again you want to give your life to Jesus you can shoot up your hand and we will draw you closer to Christ and you will be born again glory to Jesus your name is not in the book of life and you're not sure if you die now you'll you'll meet Jesus. The opportunity is here for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, sister. God bless you. Come on, church. Rejoice in the Lord. I said rejoice in the Lord. I said rejoice in the Lord. I said rejoice in the Lord. Wonderful, wonderful. Glory to God. Now take a step of faith and, and come forward. You did good to come. Joanita, thank you for fishing. God bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amina, hallelujah. Amina, amina. You can stand and face me. Amen. Amen. You see, we are talking about giving. Jesus Yesu. is a seed that our father gave for our seed. And just like Abraham, Abraham 
did not spare Isaac but sacrificed him. Even God our Father sacrificed his son Jesus so that whoever receives him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Thank you for welcoming Jesus in your heart. Now I'll ask you to lift your hand and confess this prayer with your mouth and believe with your heart. Say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus today I give you my heart. Today I give you my heart. I believe you are the son of God. I believe you are the son of God. You died for me. You died for me. And rose again. And rose again. Forgive my sin. Forgive my sin. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life. From today, from today, I have decided, I have decided to follow you. To follow you with all my life. With all my life, I will serve you. I will serve you. Give me your spirit. Give me your spirit. And teach me your ways. Teach me your ways. I say bye bye to the world. I say bye bye to the world. And to all the works of sin. And to all the works of this. Satan, sin. I refuse you. Satan. I now belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For forgiving me. For forgiving me. I'm now saved. I'm now saved. I'm born again. Born again. I have eternal life. I have eternal life. I'm a child of God. A child of God. I'm a new creation. A new creation. I am saved. I'm saved. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, church, clap your hands to Jesus. Glory to the living God. Congratulations and welcome in the kingdom of God. Church rejoice better. I expect some people jumping and shouting and celebrating. Even you one day when you got saved, people rejoiced. Hallelujah. Come and we pray for you. Lift your hand to Jesus. Father, we bless this lady. This is the day of her salvation. I pray a blessing upon her life. I ask you to deliver her from any form of sin and darkness. From any sin, from any wildness and any bondage of ancestors. I ask you, Lord, let her enjoy the free eternal life you've given her. The abundant life that you've given to her. She will not go back in the world. I commit her into your hands. Let her serve you. Use her for your glory. And bless her with all your, your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So you go to mama. Mama will have some words to share with you. Hallelujah to the Lord. Glory to Jesus. And they will give you the church programs. We want you to grow and be strong in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let us get our tithes ready and our offerings. Let's give generously to the Lord. God loves cheerful givers. Hallelujah. Amen. There are envelopes for your tithe. The ushers are moving around with those envelopes. Lift your hand and they give you an envelope for your tithe. Somebody here wants an envelope. We ask all of you to learn to be tithers. You cannot say God has not provided for you. You cannot say that there is nothing you have received from God. Of all that you receive from God, 10% belong to God. I'll continue to tell you this because it is scriptural. And when you become faithful, the Lord will open the heavens over you. 
And you're going to find whatever you're doing is prospering. Amen. Amen. So be faithful in tithes. And also in your offerings. Hallelujah. Amen. And God will shower blessings on your life. In the name of Jesus. And those with the offerings also get it in your hands. We are going to pray. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you. We are coming with offerings in our hands and the tithes of all that you've given to us. God Almighty, you promised that you'll open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings upon us. Release that blessing now upon your children, upon the works of their hands. Let their incomes increase. Let their profits increase. I rebuke every devourer and whatever steals money from them. Lord, I cast sickness out of their midst. I pray, Holy Spirit of the living God, give them the power to make wealth because that is what you promised. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. And you say, Amen. Amen. So on my right is a basket for your offering. And on my left is the basket for the tithe. May God bless you as you give. It shall be given back to you. Good measures pressed down shaken together and running over people will come back and put in your bosom that is what God has promised us in the name of Jesus Amen thank you for giving and our visitors will love you those who have come and joined us thank you for coming hallelujah let's appreciate our visitors I see our brother there in a cape our brother in the cape come I've seen it for the first time even our brother here 